Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my faves and fails for the month of September 2022. Another month is gone. Where does the time go? I feel like I say this in every faves and fails video every month, like as though, you know, the passing of time is a brand new concept for me. Like, oh my God, another month went by. Yeah, shocker. But anyway, so in this video, I go over kind of the videos that I produced during the month, what were favorites from those videos, what were fails from those videos, what I tried behind the scenes that maybe you didn't see that are faves or fails. So I like to do both good things and bad things because I figure if I show you the things that you know, weren't so good, then maybe I can save you a buck or two. So let's just dive right in. We're going to start in makeup today. I feel like I didn't really test that much makeup this month. I was testing makeup behind the scenes for like Foundation Friday coming up and there's a new concealer that I want to review, but I didn't put up any videos like testing makeup. It's so funny because I usually do at least one or two a month. And um, this past month, I did more makeup application techniques. One was about how to get like a facelift with your makeup. And that was a really, really good video. You guys loved it so much. If you didn't see that one, when I put it up, I can link it right up here for you. I'll also link it at the end screen of the video because I shared all my secret tips for like giving yourself a little facelift with makeup. And then the other kind of makeup related one I did was about how to select your foundation shade. <laughs> this is something that I think we all struggle with, but I had some really good tips and tricks in that one. So definitely check that video out too. I will link it above as well. So for makeup faves, it's kind of like old faves that I've been using for a long time. And one of them is my NYX Mineral Matte Powder. I had been so devoted to the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder for years. I love that stuff. It was my ride or die. And can I tell you that since I started using this, I don't use that anymore. So it's kind of fallen off the wayside for me and I'm so surprised. But the thing about it is while it does work beautifully to set your under eyes and it doesn't add any heaviness or any extra wrinkles or anything, um, it does give you flashback if you're being photographed like with a flash and with this powder, you don't get any flashback and it works just as well as the It Cosmetics one on making my pores disappear and setting my under eye concealer so that it is perfect and crease free and it doesn't add any heaviness. It's very lightweight. Really loving that. Wanted to give that a shout out this month. And then another product from NYX that I used in the facelifting makeup tutorial are the NYX Wonder Pencils. These are great and they're such little multi-use pencils that I just love them. I have them in two different colors. So one is lighter, one's a little bit darker. The lighter one is really great for carving out your eyebrows. It gives me a little brow highlight up there, but without being super shiny because this is matte. And so I put that on and then I just use a tiny, tiny, tiny little makeup brush and blend it in. And then it really helps to define that brow shape and really like lift my eyebrow. Like, I don't know if you can see like the difference in what that did just between the two. Like this one just looks so much more arched and lifted because it has that highlight there. So I'm gonna go ahead and even up this side. There's so many different uses for it. It's so hard to get such a fine line with eyeshadow. Most of the time you'll see people putting eyeshadow up there and it's really hard to get a fine line like that with eyeshadow where with these you can really like carve out your brows and really define the shape and make them look really perfected. You can also use it as a spot concealer for blemishes and things. So those are really great. If you're looking for a little awesome smudger brush, this is the BK204 smudger brush. That's a really good one. All right, I told you about this mascara a few months ago. I think since then it's kind of become my favorite mascara. It is the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara. And this is such a good formula. When I was putting it on, I shot a little footage just to show you the difference it makes in my lashes. So on one side, I have on just one coat of it. And on the other side, no coats of it. And it's just amazing how it lengthens and gives volume and actually curls my lashes. And I love this. I've never seen anything that with one coat made my lashes so big and so long, but this is amazing. It is a tubing mascara and I have never liked a tubing mascara before because when you go to remove them, they don't dissolve completely. They kind of break up into little flakes. And then those little black flakes are like in my eyes and all over my face. And I just found them so annoying, but this one 
doesn't break up like other tubing mascaras. It more dissolves, which I love about it. So it's really easy to get it off. And you know, I hate a mascara that's really hard to get off. And with this one, I get no smudging, no flaking. It is like the perfect mascara and I love it. All right, let's move on to skincare. I don't have a ton of things to report in skincare this month. Not a lot has changed. I'm not really testing any new skincare because I'm testing a device, but I did try a new sunscreen that I had heard a lot of buzz about. And so I was like, oh, I got to get that one and try it. It is called the Beauty of Joseon sunscreen. And this is a chemical sunscreen, but this uses the European chemical filters. This is such a good sunscreen. I love it. It is not tinted. It's not mineral, so it's not heavy. It just comes out white like a regular old sunscreen, but it is really super lightweight and nice and it rubs in beautifully. And because it is a chemical sunscreen, it doesn't leave any white cast on your skin. So you rub it in and bam, no white cast, looks great. The European sunscreen ingredients are much less irritating than a lot of the American chemical sunscreening ingredients. So this one doesn't irritate my skin and I really, really like it. And I've worn it under makeup a few times and it's so lightweight that it looks great under makeup. I didn't really test it to see how, if it affected the wear of the makeup, I still have to do that. But so far, I really, really like this one. I tried a new cleansing balm to remove makeup. Uh, it's not new, it's just new to me. It's called Clean It Zero. They actually have four different versions of it. So this is the original. I didn't love it. Um, to start with, I was surprised at how much fragrance is in here. Like it is really very, very fragranced. It didn't really remove makeup better than my Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I compare everything to the Clinique because that is the best. And so it wasn't as good as the Clinique. So for me, it wasn't great. But I did purchase a cleansing balm that I had tested a long time ago and I really liked it. And I felt like it cleaned just as good as the Clinique, but when I talked about it, it was suddenly gone and not back for months. So it is the Grace and Stella F-Balm This Works Cleansing Balm. And I really love this. This is very, very comparable to the Clinique as far as dissolving your makeup and having it run all down the drain. I like it that this one comes with a little spoon to get it out of there. The Clinique is like $36 for 3.8 ounces, I think, and this is $24 for 4.3 ounces. So a much better value than the Clinique, unless you get the big Clinique, which is a better value, I think, even than this. But anyway, just an alternative. If you didn't love the Clinique, take the day off cleansing balm, something else to try. This is really good. I tried this Derma E sensitive skin cleanser. I believe I received this in PR and I really, really like this. Most of the other cleansers that I try, I just really don't like them right off the bat. They either have like a lot of fragrance or they leave my, they leave my skin feeling stripped and dry. And this one didn't do that. It's fragrance free, sulfate free, it's cruelty free, it's vegan. So it's just a really great product and I really, really have been enjoying it. All right, I got a couple of hair care things to show you next. First is this L'Oreal Highlight Kit. I haven't talked about this in a long, long time because I haven't used it in a long, long time. Um, when I moved here, I found a hairstylist who did fabulous highlights. And so I've been going to her for an entire year and only a year and then <laughs> <laughs> she moved. So she colored my hair for the last time in June. You know, I don't really have my highlights done that often, maybe like every three months. And then in between, I just color the roots myself with the e-salon, which I also love. And so I've been doing that, but my roots were getting enormous. Even though I haven't done this in a while, I went out and I got the old color kit that I used to use. Now this is like a cap highlight kit. So it's got the cap and the little metal puller thing. I don't use the cap or the puller, but I love the shade that these come out. So I highlighted my hair this morning just because I felt like my roots were like solid brown, like down to here. So I just thought I'll just put in a couple and my gosh, they come out so pretty, don't they? This kit comes with so much product in there. If you mix it all up, you're gonna be able to highlight like 15 people. So like I usually do, I divide it in half and I still had way too much to do like these tiny, tiny little highlights. But anyway, I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm always happy with how this kit comes out. That is a fave this month. All right, let's talk about things around the house next. I gotta tell you guys, I got my new mattress in. And oh my gosh, what a difference it has made in my sleep, 
in my back pain. <laughs> that is the main thing is the back pain and well, the sleep comfort is great too. Um, so I had been having this back pain for a while and I looked up like causes of back pain and the most common cause of back pain is that you're sleeping on an old mattress. And I was like, huh, let me, let me think, when was the last time I replaced my mattress? It is going back a while now. So I bought a new one and I bought it from this brand called Sattva. You guys know how I research everything. So I started looking into what's the best uh, mattress for back support for back sleeping. And in every report I saw, this Sattva mattress was like at the top. It's um, kind of one of these disruptor brands where they're cutting out the middleman of the mattress store or the furniture store, and it's like a direct marketing to you kind of thing, but you get that same high end quality mattress, but for like a thousand dollars less than you would pay for one of the big name brands and it's delivered right to your house. And I gotta say, everything about the experience was fantastic. They brought it in, they set it up, they removed the old mattress. Anyway, love the Sattva. I'm telling you from the first night of sleeping on it, I wake up in the morning, my back doesn't hurt. I can do my workouts, my back doesn't hurt. I'm just like, I can vacuum, my back doesn't hurt. So, oh my gosh, if you're sleeping on an old mattress and having back pain, definitely get yourself a new mattress and check out the Sapa. so I'll link it below. And then another household thing that I wanted to show you are the lanterns that I got for my front porch. So, I like to have like these big lanterns on my front porch in the fall and in the winter, you know, put candles in them. They look great at night, makes nice outdoor decor. But last year I bought two from West Elm. Well, I put them outside with a battery powered candle in them. And because they don't have any glass, you know, walls and the roof is open, all the rain and all the snow went right inside the lantern. And then the candle was sitting in like a puddle. And of course they burnt the candles out. So had to buy new candles for them. So I was like, eh, these aren't working so well. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna look for ones that have glass and a roof. And when I saw these at Target, I was like, oh my God, I got three lanterns for the price of one of those West Elm lanterns and they're gonna be so much better and they're so pretty. I just love them. This duster, I showed this in my Amazon favorites. I use this like three or four times a week and it is amazing. It's got a telescoping handle, so it telescopes out to 100 inches long so I can reach everything, my ceiling fans, my super high up lights. I can reach all, you know, my bookshelves. Like behind me, I do all my bookshelves. I can do my baseboards without having to bend over. I just love this guy and I still haven't washed it, but I've had this for at least six months, maybe seven or eight months. I just take it outside and give it a shake and that's how I clean it out. I mean, and everything comes flying off when you shake it, but it clings to it when you don't shake it. So that is awesome, love that. All right, so let's do clothes and accessories next. I just put up my fall lookbook on Friday. So if you're looking for fall clothes, there are 13 outfits in there full head to toe outfits from casual to dressy, along with nine bonus sweaters and jackets at the end. So a lot of good stuff to see there. I'll link that video up above. I think my number one favorite item from that entire video is these Spanx pants. These are just the most amazing pants and these pants are on the spendy side, but I have got to say that they, I think, are gonna be worth every single penny because whether you have a booty, it's gonna to help to lift it. If you don't have one, it's gonna make you look like you have one without adding any padding or anything. They're just amazing how great they make you look. So these are kind of a high-waisted style. And the other thing that I had noticed about them when I was making the lookbook is that they don't pick up any lint or animal hair. Look, no animal hair anywhere. And you guys know I have two dogs. Okay, one of them's black, so her hair doesn't show up a lot. But the little hairy one, <laughs> has long blonde hair. His hair is almost as long as mine. The black stays perfectly black so you don't have to be lint rolling yourself all the time. I had another poor pair of black pants in the video that <laughs> nobody bought because I showed them compared to this and they were covered with lint. And by the way, they do come in three lengths. They come in petite, regular, and long so that if you are petite, they will come scaled for your body. So love those. And then another pair of pants. I guess it was a year for great pants. Um, another great pair of pants are these faux leather pants. These are so beautiful. I love this color. They also come in black 
and they just look like real leather. They don't really look like faux leather. They're so buttery soft. They feel really good. They're just more of a straight leg style, a little bit cropped on me, depending on how tall you are. I believe these come in petites as well. They've got nice working pockets, front and back, and they just looked terrific. I love them both. And I will link the other items that are with these outfits because they are some of my favorites, but I don't want to have to talk about every single item from it from the lookbook. Um, but another thing that it didn't make it into the lookbook, but this is a really good staple piece for wearing under other things is this long sleeve waffle weave t-shirt. I love this t-shirt. I actually bought it in two colors. I have the white and I have the olive green. So that's just a really good like underneath staple piece for underneath your cardigans and stuff. And then this was one of the nine sweaters at the end of the lookbook. This is a sweater that I bought last weekend and this is such a pretty sweater. I just love it. Um, it's just like a plain rib knit with a crew neck collar, but the sleeve is what makes this sweater so pretty. It has this really pretty pointel knit to the sleeve. It's got a little bit of a balloon sleeve, but not too big. You can fit it inside your jackets. It's just a really sweet sweater, perfect color for fall. This like minty grayish green came in a couple of other colors as well. And then another thing that was at the end of the lookbook that I didn't talk about, but that I do want to talk about is this Zella jacket. Um, this jacket is fantastic this time of year, you know, it just suddenly got so cold, like the highs during the day have been about 62, 64 degrees for the last few days, which is such a shock because it was so warm up until then. And I'm like, oh no, I need to put on a jacket to take my dogs out. So this has become like my dog walking jacket, but most of the time when I have a dog walking jacket, it's just for dog walking because it's not cute. But this one I think is so cute. It's a longer jacket and I don't know if this comes in petite. So if you're shorter, I don't know if you'll like this because it is quite long but it's so cozy and so warm but it's not heavy so it's like quilty but it's not like a big puffer quilty it's just it's very thin um, and it looks just really nice on the pockets have like a little fleece lining in it so it keeps your hands nice and warm and i've just been wearing this like every day for the last couple of weeks since it got chilly and I love this jacket. All right, then the last clothing thing is this sweater that I'm wearing. I think this is just so cute. I got it for the lookbook, um, but it didn't make it in it because you know, I buy all this stuff and I have to cut it off somewhere. But this is kind of one of my favorite things that came in. It's a really lightweight sweater. So it's perfect for this time of year where it's not super cold yet, um, but you do need something long sleeve. So it's like thin and ribbed and really pretty. I love this color. It's got kind of a rounded v-neck which is very flattering and then it just has this little bit of like diagonal stitching here and uh, just gives it a little bit of interest. It's longish. I have it tucked into my jeans today but it's just a really really cute little sweater. And so that's everything that I had to show you in this faves and fails for September 2022. So that is it for today's video, everybody. If you enjoyed it, found it helpful and informative, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. So have a great day, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.